Karnayor uh, from Department of Biosciences at San Don Bosco University from India to present a review on Aquilaria malassensis propagation and production of secondary metabolite uh, from callus. Please, Ms. Karnayor, are you with us? Here. Yes. Yeah. Hello. Can you, can you hear, can, uh, is it audible? We can hear you. We can't see you. Okay. Now we can hear and see. Um, please share your presentation with us. Uh, greeting yes. to everyone. Uh, I'm Suplan Khanior, PhD scholars of Assam Don Bosco University. So uh, before I start to present my research topic, like, can I request, like, can I off my camera because it uh, the internet connection is a little bit fluctuating. Hello, is it audible? Yes, it is. Okay. Everything uh, is okay. Yeah. But can I uh, off my camera because it's a little bit like fluctuating in the internet connection? Yes. Yes. Please do. Thank you. It might help. Is it audible? Yes, it is. Uh, these are the contents that uh, we're talking about. That is uh, the introductions, the economical value the propagation of aquilarium malaxensis, the secondary metabolites production from the aquilarium malaxensis, and the future aspects. Well, I would like to introduce first, what is this aquilarium malaxensis? Aquilarium malaxensis is a fragrance on timber woods, which belongs to the family Timeliaceae, and it is commonly known as agarwood, and it is one of the most uh, costly wood in the world, which has a highly demand in the market value because of its uh, fragrance compounds which are obtained from this species. Therefore, the species is become over exploited and it affects the availability in the natural habitats. Therefore, due, therefore in 2004, the species was uh, listed as an endangered species in Appendix 1 and Appendix 2 in, of, CTIS, of CTIS. And in India, there are three endemic species. That is Aquilaria cassiana, uh, Macrophylla, and Malaxensis. Hence, uh, hence, conservation, propagation, and and find out an alternative methods for the production of the unique secondary metabolites are urgently needed. Therefore, the objective of this paper is to compile the major research work on the conservation and production of secondary metabolites. This is a three years old Aquilaria malaxensis tree. Uh, the flowers, fruits, images, and image and major seeds. And what are the economical values which are obtained from this agar wood? There are three, three, three main uh, principles. That is, one is perfume, incensives, and pharmaceutical use. Uh, traditionally, in the Middle East, it was traditionally it was observed that the agar wood oil and smoke, which are obtained from this uh, agar, uh, agar wood tree. Uh, is used, uh, are being used as a scent, and it's also used by uh, many religious uh, practices. And agarwood uh, fragrance is also being employed as an aromatic gradient in detergents like in shampoo, uh, soap, etc. And several researchers were also trying to synthesize the aromatic compound which are obtained from this, uh, from this, from the agarwood tree, but. Uh, there are some mismatch or there are something which is like not connected with that compared to the natural value. Therefore, the quality of the oil which are obtained from the synthetic agarwood aromatic compounds is low. And when it comes to uh, incense sticks, incense sticks is a stick which are like coated with uh, uh, fragrances where uh, where it was uh, it has a significant amount of accounting prayers, religious uh, practices, purposes, 
and some like insect uh, repellents, and they 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 think that these uh, incense sticks, which uh, the incense sticks, the, uh, uh, the perfumes or the scents which are coming out from this, it brings luck and safety to the believers. And uh, it was also for, uh, reported that the incense sticks, uh, which are uh, the incense stick quality of the Indian and the Chinese has dropped down. As reported, the agarwood concentration is less as they may have replaced with their synthetic oil. And the pharmaceutical use, as we all know that uh, many, uh, uh, medis uh, many plants or herbs, herbs uh, they are traditionally used to treat various diseases as this agarwood is not one of them, like to treat pleurisy, uh, relief pain, RS vomiting, and asthma. And uh, they have also tried to, uh, to check the differences, uh, the, the, the differences in the medicinal value of infected wood and of uninfected wood and the infected wood. And they have been found that uh, the infected wood are used for treat jaundice and body pains, whereas the infected wood has more quality for uh, the medicinal values like for treating of various diseases, like it has an anti-cancer, anti-diabetic, anti, -diabetic, anti uh, uh, etc. Uh, and in 2015, the Ayurvedic department, they have trying to do a research on this agarwood tree and they have found that this, uh, this, uh, the medicinal, uh, uh, the medicinal uh, compounds which are obtained from this agarwood has, uh, it has various, uh, these, it has uh, uh, various medicinal values for treating like appetizer, analgesic, antipyretic, anti histaminic, uh, styptic, uh, carminative, cytotoxic, insecticidal, general toxic, general tonic, etc. And why, uh, why this I have. Like I've already talked, like this species, it's an endangered species. Therefore, propagation and conservation of this species is very important. So, therefore, like traditionally, like to pro for the mass production of uh, aquilarium malaxensis, they have been done by grafting, stem cutting, and seedlings. But due to some external factors, these uh, traditional uh, traditional uh, practices, it's not benefiting or it's not uh, help them to increase their economics and to reach the demands in the market. <clears throat> like one of this, uh, the uh, environmental factors is like the seed, it has a very low shelf life, which is uh, ranges from 15 to 40 days. And therefore to enhance the traditional method, stem cutting was developed by treating the injured stems and various, at various concentration of endobitaric acids for rooting development. And therefore, like uh, a biological technique has come to improve more than traditional methods. Like uh, for propagation, like there are two methods. One is direct and one is uh, indirect methods, uh, organogenesis and direct methods, organogenesis. Indirect methods is like uh, production of a callus or organogenesis from a small tissues, like callus from a callus. And it, was, has, been, it has been reported that the media supplemented uh, the media supplemented with uh, BAP, NAA, uh, cyto uh, BAP, NAA, 240, and carnitins. And carnitins it helps to uh, produce more uh, optimal uh, production of callus. Uh, when it comes to the direct uh, organogenesis, where in this organic or direct organogenesis, the media you are using is MS medium, where it is supplemented with a BAP, a TTZ uh, for the uh, for the shoot development, and they are being using from different parts of the plants. And for the roots, they have been found, they have uh, they have observed that a half strain of the MS MS medium containing IPA it have it shows more uh, more induction. And direct organogenesis was also obtained in a medium with high concentration of BAP and low concentration of NA, where roots was developed in a half strain medium with uh, NAA. Uh, therefore, due to this uh, uh, low shelf life of the seed, in 2018, 
an artificial seed was developed by encapsulating the nodal bud with 2.5% of sodium hydrogen and 100 millimolar of calcium chloride. Uh, since like, I've already, already talked, like the should find an other, another alternative methods for the production of the secondary multiplex to meet the demand of the production of uh, uh, unique fragrances. Therefore, uh, in, 2009, in 2009, it's been studied that the two major compounds which are obtained from the callus are sesquid terpenoids from the living cells and chromones might generate from the dead cell. I just conducted a study to enhance the mechanism of how plants and microbes interactions are taking place. Uh, they are, in this study, they found that the callus, they, they have studied on the callus, the juvenile plants, and prisoners whose chips infected with fusarium. Uh, these are the, the future, uh, the last would be the future prospects. Uh, the invite to the invite to techniques to demand an alternative source for our production for mass callus or filaria species. Although the callus induction using leaf nodal and shoot plants are reported by various researchers, other parts from the vegetative and productive phase are also might be the best expense. And it has not been reported uh, so far from the production of plants or organogenesis from the callus. A further research is highly recommended to improve the in vitro and in vivo methods for the mass production of the culinary tree. As reported by various researchers, callus impersonates a significant factors in the production of secondary metabolites. Um, for further studies, a comparative study could be done for the isolation, identification, and classification of microorganisms to give a better insight on the plants and microbes interaction. Thank you uh, very much. We we'll have to Thank you. conclude. Yes. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Karnayor. And now I'm uh, calling the uh, last but not least, Professor Dr. Gabriel Gorgiu from uh, Valahia.